First off, if you haven't already been to the Modern Museum of Art, I highly recommend this museum. Their staff was great and collections were amazing. Now I told myself I wasn't going to talk about the very first piece I saw, but the sheer magnitude of the works done by artist Aslam Kiefer changed my mind. There were actually two pieces that caught my attention. One was Book with Wings, and the other being the piece that I'm going to critique for you all, named, and excuse my pronunciation, Aschenblum. Now, I said earlier this piece was massive, and in order for me to get a full glimpse and understanding of the piece, I had to stand some distance away. The scene depicts some type of hallway, the length of which is enforced by strong directional lines pointing towards the vanishing point in the lower center of the page. It's hard to make out the details on the painting due to the blurred color scheme. For some reason, all of the colors run together, making the scene look old and abandoned, maybe even falling apart. My idea of it being old is reinforced by the dry, dead sunflowers hanging upside down from the top, of the, from the top to the bottom of the piece. Also, along with the implied textures of the work, the majority of the texture is actual texture, made from what seems to be clay, mud, and some twigs. As for what this artwork is about, it's hard for me to say. The details of this work are hard to make out, but if I had to make a guess, this may point to some t type of spiritual or moral meaning. The flower in my mind represents life, vivid color blooming and growing. But this piece suggests death or moral decay, the loss of beauty even. The colors in the work begin being almost monochromatic and the beauty of the flower gone maybe suggests the pathway leads to death, or the hall in this instance being without life or beauty. This could be a statement made about a specific thing or made to cause a heightened awareness of life choices and direction. Kiefer is a German artist born in 1945. The artwork, which is 149 and 5 eighths by 299 and 1 fourth inches, was created during the years of 1983 through 97. I believe it was during this time that Germany was reunited and foreign troops were leaving that this project was started. Honestly, the context in which the work was created has confused me. I'm not much of a history buff, so I may be missing something, but it seems that if this painting means what I think it does, then maybe the artist was afraid of the reunion of Germany, or even that the recovery is far from sight. I get a sense of lifelessness and brokenness from this piece, and it's interesting to see this in person because you're almost in the scene, yet distance is created. There are several things that make me feel this way about the artwork. One being the color scheme and textures. The use of organic, lifeless materials may suggest there's something different down the hall. The lack of clear distinction of color is the factor that makes me feel removed from the piece. This is probably the factor that truly makes the piece interesting. I believe this piece is a true work of art because it simply raises a question. The fact that when you approach this work, you immediately become puzzled and curious of its meaning is a testament to the artist's comprehension of human nature. If a piece shows everything without drama and with all of the answers, it becomes boring to me. Art is meant to entice and suggest meaning, which this work does very well. Like I mentioned earlier, I believe this work has a certain moral or spiritual meaning, maybe saying to keep moving through the darkness or even that the path of destruction is a long one. Regardless of the details, this, pe this piece will change the way I look at, my at life decisions. Finally, I will read you the museum's description of the artwork. Ashenbloom, years 1983 through 97, exhibits Kiefer's attempt to come to terms with his national identity through Nazi imagery and symbolism. The work depicts gr the Grand Mosaic Room in the Reich Chancellor Berlin, designed by Albert Speer, reducing into deep space. Yet the artist has blurred this image by covering the surface of paint and emulsion with ash. The colossal ceremonial space is empty, except for the intrusion, intrusion of a tall, dried sunflower plant. In Die Aschenblum, 
Kiefer uses unconventional materials to suggest the process of transformation. In this case, he suggests a space in the moment of transition in which new images can grow from the brittle goals of the Third Reich. may be a little off on my history, but I believe I somewhat got the idea of a space that was destroyed or under construction. The piece has more personal meaning to the artist than I could have ever assumed due to the fact that I am not a German of the time period. My idea of moral meaning may be close to the artist's struggle for identity, but other than these points, my interpretation of the piece was not the same. Special thanks to The Modern for allowing me to photograph these two pieces, and thanks for watching.